back to my channel. It's me, Shantae, and you're watching Shake It Up with Shantae. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. If you've been here before, welcome back and thank you. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome, 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 and thank you so, so much. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button now because I know you're going to enjoy the rest of these videos, the ones, the one today and the ones that you haven't seen. Go ahead and hit that playlist of mine and watch all of my videos. You're going to enjoy it nonetheless. Um, I will be showing you guys today how I make my what I call brock squash. It is my broccoli, squash, and onions, how I saute them together. So it's a real simple video. It's um, an easy meal. It's vegetarian. So if you want to learn how I do that, just stay tuned and we're going to start this video right now. All right, y'all. So I have here how I'm going to um, saute my brock squashes. I have my squash right here. I have three, three whole squash, which is regular fresh squash. I have a little bit of broccoli that I'm going to add to it, and I have an onion that I'm going to cut up. I have over here I have um, butter and garlic that I'm going to cook together for a little bit. This is what I'm going to put my squash and broccoli and onions in, and then I'm going to season it. It's a very simple recipe. So what I do is I cut the tip of the broccoli off. I leave the skin on, and I'm just going to slice these kind of a half inch thick because you don't want them too thin you don't want it too thick as well but squash doesn't take that long to cook at all so once my garlic and butter melt I'm gonna go ahead and add my broccoli in once I add my broccoli I'm gonna let that cook about a minute or two before I put my squash in so once I do that I will come back and show you guys what it looks like now I'm slicing up my onions they can be however thick or thin is that you want your onions to be. They don't have to be as thick as I'm making because I'm going to separate them. So I have my all of my squash and then I have my onions cut up here. And then I'm going to rinse my broccoli just a tad little bit. And then my onion and um, my garlic and butter has melted. So it's time for me to go ahead and put my broccoli in. All right, so I've rinsed my broccoli. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to turn it down a little bit low. I am going to add a little bit water, but I'm on, I'm going to add that at the very end. I'm going to give this a quick toss. All right, so I have my broccoli in here, and I just want to get it a little wet with the garlic and the butter. I just want to get it wet. I did add a tad bit of water, just like maybe two spoonfuls, just so my garlic won't burn at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and add my half a stick of butter right on top of that. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put my onions on top of here. See, I just spread that out. And I know y'all might say that's a lot of butter, but the more butter, the better. I tell you, you may gain a couple pounds, but it's okay. It's the holidays coming up, so you're going to gain a couple anyway. All right, I have that in there. I'm going to put a lid on this and let this cook for about a minute or two. And then I'll come back and add my squash. All right, so my broccoli onion has been cooking for about two minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my um, squash to this. You want to kind of layer the big pieces. Just layer them around. And then the small pieces, you want to just throw them in the middle because they're going to cook. All of this is going to cook. As soon as I put the lid on this and it starts to steam up a little bit, squash cooks really, really fast. So it may seem like a lot, but when I tell y'all at the end, you'll see that it's really not a lot. Okay, so I have that in there and I'm, now I'm gonna add some seasoning. I'm gonna add some salt, of course. I have parsley flakes. I just love this because it has color, it has no taste. It just makes everything look pretty. But I'm gonna add it because that's just what I do. I'm also adding garlic powder. 
onion powder, and my secret ingredient, crushed red peppers. Put as many as you like, as much as you like. If you don't want any peppers in yours, don't put in it. It's yours. You don't want to have to eat it. You make it your way. All of this stuff is substitutable. If you want to use mushroom, bell peppers, you can saute your vegetables any way you want. But this is how I do my um, broth squash. That's what I call it. It's broccoli and squash with onions. And I steam them with butter, garlic, and I add whatever seasons I like to taste and seasonings that my family likes. So this is, I, I, I have this on medium to kind of low heat. I don't want it to cook too fast. I've already seasoned and I'm going to put a lid on it. I'll be back in about seven minutes to show you where it is, how much it has cooked down. All right, you all, here's my broth squash and it is completely done. I told y'all it was going to cook down some. So I'm actually going to turn this off right now. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to leave the lid on it because I don't want my, I want my squash to kind of stay in shape. I don't want it to get mushy. It, it, it only takes a second. This maybe took about eight minutes to cook. Eight minutes. That's it. And it cooked down, as you can see, all of my season is in there. So I'm going to plate this with another video I'm doing, which is some fried ribs. So if you want to go watch that video, you can. But give me a minute and I'm going to plate this and show you how it looks. All right, you guys. So my broth squash is ready. It's my broccoli squash with onions that I sauteed. It's done. I sauteed it in garlic and butter. And it has been cooking for about 10 minutes. And it is done. If you're a vegetarian and you want to make this meal, go ahead. Please let, me, please let me know when you make it. But when I tell you it's good, it's real butter, it is great. Mmm, 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 mmm. You can make this with any meal, with chicken, sausage, all of this stuff is substitutable. Like I said, if you want to add bell peppers, mushrooms, you can add whatever you want to add. This is a great side dish. I actually paired this today with some fried ribs. That's a separate video. So if you want to watch the fried ribs video, please go ahead and do so. I'm going to plate this with my ribs, add me some ribs to this, and I'll be back to show you my dinner plate. Y'all have to try is broccoli squash. When I tell you, if you're a vegetarian, this is the perfect thing for you is squash, broccoli, onions. I sauteed it in garlic and butter. I seasoned it with a whole bunch of other stuff. Watch the video. Cooked it for about 10 minutes. Great. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all know what time it is. Time for me to enjoy this meal. I won't hold y'all for too long. Hang on, I shot two videos today. I did one with the with the uh, broth squash, with the broccoli and squash, and then I did another one with the fried ribs. Please watch both videos. Um, I appreciate you tuning in to Shake It Up with Shantae today. I'm gonna finish this meal. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Thank you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.